Hi, everyone. Uh, so my name is Dave Ananda. Um, I wrote this slide and this talk in the last about 10 minutes, so bear with me a little bit. Um, what I want to talk about is social hacking, which I sort of brainstormed a bit about what to call the talk. Um, basically, we can do more good with whatever tools we have, and the tools we have that are coming up today are machine learning. Um, it's not just about, though it is our day jobs often, uh, it's not just that. Um, so I'll talk a little bit about trends. I've been in this for a little while. Back in the 90s, we did like the new thing was peer-to-peer -peer networking and how do we democratize connections and tools. Um, after that, the LAMP stack made a huge impact in all the businesses we know today. And we can't think of the internet without Google and Facebook and Amazon. They all exist because of free software. The Linux, Apache, MySQL, or Postgres, PHP, Python, Perl, those things, because they were open source, all these companies began. They wouldn't exist without them. After that, sort of had another big trend, cloud computing, and the ability for everyone to access these tools. Again, so many businesses and so much good happened because of that. Today, it's machine learning. It's another emergence. Uh, it's a quote from Neil Stephenson, I think. Um, this sort of moment when everything changes. We can see the red is uh, it's a Google trend graph of Google searches for cloud versus machine learning. Like, it's coming up now. Something's happening. That's why we're all here. What can it do? Well, dogs versus cats. I mean, that's great, right? You can have a computer tell you if it's a picture of a dog or a cat, or what kind of dog it is, or what kind of food it is. Maybe someday soon, your camera or your, your cell phone can tell you the calorie count of food or if the food is safe to eat. There's a, a startup launching right now using hyperspectral cameras to identify food safety. That's kind of cool. They can obviously do a lot more than that, right? If that was it, it wouldn't be worth it. So I'll tell you for, I've got two minutes probably, two, three minutes? Three minutes. Um, I was part of a little team doing a startup pitch for fun uh, about a month ago, two months ago. Uh, we can put up with this idea, could we use machine learning to predict wildfires? before they occur. And it's, you know, it's a startup competition. It's a bunch of VCs. The four of us that did this were like, yeah, we don't really, I mean, it'd be nice to have VC money, but in the, in the worst case, if we succeed in building a model that can predict where fires happen, we don't really need the money. Like, it's better for society if we just give that away. So, We, we did have to, as part of our pitch, like talk about where do we get money. Or, also data. Uh, slides are in the wrong order. Um, so the question of money. For something like this, sure, we could get money from VCs, from insurance companies, potentially from governments. Uh, but really, there's multiple institutions out there that give money to social good and government grants for things like this. And I really want to highlight that. This is a new tool being used in all kinds of new ways. You don't have to just do it for a job. You can also find side projects or grant money to do it for things that matter to you, that are good. But, back to that slide, um, how do you do machine learning? One of the things I haven't seen anyone else really mention yet today is you need data. And you need often large amounts of data. And companies that have already been in this space have their own data sets they've curated very carefully. There's tons of public data out there, tons of it. If you have a problem you wish you could solve, look for public data, find ways to use it, clean it up. I bet it's there. Please get involved. Thank you.